You are listening to Ideas and Leaders podcast. What are the first steps we need to take to start uh, going online? Oh. I guess I want to set the context first. That's, you know, th th that kind of question, it's like asking, what's the one thing I can do to fix a relationship? Well, that depends on the two people involved. And what you do here is different to what you do there. Uh, I guess to, to try and give an answer that's universally applicable, network to people that are in the position that you want to be in learn how to communicate and that's really the first thing you know because you can have different business models you can have different psychological structures you can have different copywriting you can have different way of making ads you can say oh instagram is better because and then someone else might say youtube is better because but all that is irrelevant if you don't know how to communicate and communicate effectively and make it simple and to the point, whether that's putting out your ad or whether that's reaching out to a collaborator or an influencer, being able to communicate and connect to the people that are where you want to be, that's important. Because once you do that, you can then start asking the more in-depth questions. Well, how did you get there? What did you do? What do I have to learn? Where do I go? How do I self-educate? And I guess the, the second part of that answer is that word self-educate. Self-education is really important. I mean, I've got people that come to me now that have been in um, uh, big, huge companies, $150 million company for, 18 years and in 35 minutes of talking, they say, you know, I learned more in 35 minutes than I've learned over the last 10 years because you stay stuck in just one way of doing things. Now that's not to say that that's not bad, but if you don't move with the times, you get left behind. So that's self-education. You don't learn it. Like the people that I now work with, uh, global marketing strategists, that have done marketing for Gordon Ramsay, Dell, DHL, Aon, you know, just to name a few. You know, they got their education back in 1995. Do you think the world is the same in 90, now as it was in 1995? No. That piece of paper is about as useful as the Neanderthal right now, you know, because the world has changed so much. So that self-education is hugely important. You know, what you're learning now, likely if you start a college degree now in business, so to speak, I'm being a little bit very broad with my statement, but it's likely obsolete in four years. You know, how social media works, what, what's working web pages now. I mean, that's changed dramatically over the last five years and will continue to change probably every six months, never mind every year. So and the point is self-educate yourself, stay on top of your game, know where your customers and what the mindset, the psychographic and the demographic of people are going to be. Think of six months ahead, you know? And again, before you can even start doing that, you need to put yourself in order, how you manage yourself, your mindset, your time, your schedule, get really ahead of yourself by six or 12 months and try, try as best as you can to get it down to within every five minutes of your working day. Now, I know people hear that and then they say, ah, oh, nobody does that. I'm telling you, they do. They really do. Success leaves clues, you know, bluntly put, if you're not in the same place, if not more than the person you're criticizing, how has your process worked? And if you're not there, forget your process, keep it to yourself. If somebody else is telling you they do this, you know, whether you believe it or not, at least go and try it. I used to think that nobody does that, you know, I was skeptical, but I really started doing it. And I'm not saying you do it straight away, but start with steps, start with saying, I know every day I need to do this on social media. You know, then I need to do that. Then you need to, I don't know, collect your kids, whatever it is. Just start putting down the, the start of it, you know, put it down your calendar and your phone. So suddenly, you know, the first month that you start, you've kind of got hourly blocks, but then you get into a routine and then you start to notice, you know what? I said that Mondays I go to the bank at 10 o'clock and I have an hour made out for that. 
suddenly you start to realize consistently, I'm back in my door 25 past 10. So that's really only 25 minutes. And then you can start breaking it down. Then you know it's 25 minutes and you can bring it in on the calendar. Then you can say, okay, I'm on a call now at 10.45. And then you start micro-niching in the time. So in six months, you end up looking at it as every five minute blocks. And if you put that timer on your phone or wherever, that beeps every five minutes, even if it's just a beep, it just gives you a reminder. Uh -oh, I'm, uh, that's the second beep. I'm 10 minutes here and I'm looking at YouTube. I need to start moving. So managing your time, putting yourself in order is a very good beginning. And then reaching out to the people that are in the position you want to be in. Because once you have yourself organized and then you reach out to those people, at least they can see you might not be all the way there, but you're making the attempt to structure yourself. So you're more likely to get the investment of their time where you can then continue self-educating yourself and moving yourself forward. Thank you for listening to Ideas and Leaders podcast.